From Tampa Bay Streaming News Leader, this is ABC Action News. Hey there, I'm Jasmine Stiles, and here are your ABC Action News headlines. We are in the final stretch of the 2020 election, and both candidates are vying for a win in the Sunshine State. It is always a factor in tipping the scale for a presidential win. Both campaigns are planning more stops in our battleground state this weekend. Yesterday, President Trump held two rallies, one in the Villages and the other in Pensacola. Today, he's scheduled to cast his early ballot in West Palm Beach. Vice President Mike Pence will be in Lakeland today. Former President Barack Obama will stump for his former VP, holding a rally in Miami today for Joe Biden. Now let's get you caught up on the latest coronavirus numbers in our state. Yesterday, the Department of Health said the positivity rate among new tests dropped. Now it's below the recommended 5% threshold, and that's a good thing. For the past several days, numbers spiked. Here's where the Bay Area stands. Highlands, Hillsborough, and Hardy counties are all above the 5% benchmark, but most of the other counties are reporting a decline. And a mother and daughter separated by adoption have reunited after 26 years apart. Beth Cole gave birth to Rebecca Hook on October 3rd, 1993. It's the last time they were together before the 19-year-old college student gave her daughter up for adoption. Then, years later, the coronavirus pandemic gave these two a chance to reconnect in Lutz. It was amazing. It was something that I honestly didn't know if it would ever happen. It's just incredible how normal and how natural it felt. Like it felt like we'd just known each other our entire lives. Beth has been so moved by the entire experience. She started her own organization, discoverfamily.net. It helps other parents and children reconnect. And we have more info about it on our website. That's abcactionnews.com. Now let's check in with meteorologist Jason Adams. Lots of sunshine today, but we are seeing a few scattered clouds out in the mix as well. Temperatures are going to be back into the mid to upper 80s for highs, maybe even inching toward 90 in a few spots. As far as a rain chance goes, it's going to be on the low side, only around 10 to 20 percent. So most of us avoid the rain today, but we stay hot, a little humid out there. Certainly not summer like humidity, but higher than what we would typically see this time of year. And if you're wondering if there are any cold fronts in the forecast, there are not. For the next seven days, pretty much a summer like pattern with us all the way through Halloween, maybe even to start November. Jasmine. Jason, they don't call us the Sunshine State for nothing. Thanks. All right, ABC Action News is always on when you need us. Make sure to add our free 24-7 streaming news channel to your favorite connected device, and we'll see you there.